वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द मॉडल फॉर ट्रैफिक ऑन हाईवे ओके एंड इन दिस मॉडल फर्स्टली वी विल फाइंड आउट द रिलेशन बिटवीन वेलोसिटी ऑफ अ कार एंड द ट्रैफिक डेंसिटी ट्रैफिक डेंसिटी मीन्स द रश यू हैव ऑन हाईवे ओके वी आर फर्स्टली गोइंग टू फाइंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन दीज टू की हाउ दे आर रिलेटेड एंड फॉर दिस वी मेक सम अजम्पन्स ओके तो फर्स्ट इज की फॉर this we consider the car following model we assume that acceleration of a car is proportional to the difference between the speed of the car and the car ahead of that car theek hai say you are taking okay this is a assumption that we are making and based on this assumption we will find that differential equation so what is the assumption कि एक्सेलरेशन एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ अ कार इज प्रोपोर्शनल टू व्हाट डिफरेंस बिटवीन द स्पीड ऑफ ए कार प्रोपोर्शनल टू डिफरेंस बिटवीन स्पीड ऑफ अ कार अहेड ऑफ एन माइनस वन एथ कार ahead of n minus 1th car mean that car itself is nth car okay which is ahead of this n minus 1th car so we are assuming that acceleration of any car is depend upon this theek hai if you are considering ki x n minus 1th car then acceleration of that car will depend upon the car that is ahead of that car and uh, think about the situation practically if you are um, driving on road or on highway you can take any example your speed or your uh, acceleration everything will depend upon the car that you are following na if speed of that car which you are following is less then you will also decelerate your speed you also decrease your speed so based on that car we will define the acceleration of n minus 1th car so it is proportional to this is proportional to acceleration of nth car is proportional to distance between the speed of n minus 1th car on left hand side it is acceleration and on right hand side it is speed okay you have this now removing this constant of proportionality what we have you have this equation clear now integrating this what we have after integration dx n upon dt with respect to t r we are integrating okay is equal to lambda x n minus one minus x n plus constant of integration which is d n all right now so this is your u speed this difference is rho so what you have speed u is equal to rho lambda rho plus dn now practically assume one situation if traffic density rho traffic density means number of car on road a number of car on any highway is maximum maximum limit that highway have if the number of car on that highway is maximum then what will be the speed of the car that speed will be zero na practically you can think about this situation that speed will be zero okay so if rho that is traffic density is rho maximum then speed u this will be zero when rho is maximum and if the speed is zero it is lambda by rho here not in product form now if this speed is zero then what you have you have zero equals to lambda upon rho plus dn from here value of dn is minus lambda upon rho you have now put this value here what you have you have u equals to uh, lambda by rho rho max actually 
you have rho maximum na then you are finding this value rho lambda by rho minus lambda by rho maximum that is u equals to 1 lambda 1 upon rho minus 1 upon rho maximum but in practical situation on highway okay you also observe that ki you the speed maximum speed and minimum speed is mentioned there on every highway they have mentioned ki what will should be your minimum speed and what should be your maximum speed okay now okay tell me one thing if your traffic density traffic density rho is zero what happens if there is no traffic density no traffic density means you have empty road except your own car you have empty road and you can increase your speed according to yourself that how much speed you want so now if road traffic density is maximum you have maximum traffic density then your velocity see ye constant hai this is constant you have fixed that what will be the maximum density there that will be a constant number aisa nahi hoga na ki in morning maximum limit of this highway is 200 cars and in noon it is 4000 car that's not possible na so ek time pe it is fixed you have fixed that maximum limit or maximum cars on the highway you have fixed that it will not change the only thing change will this traffic density okay so if this is zero that means there is no traffic okay only your own car is there and at that time your speed can go to infinity na your speed can go to infinity but in practical life in real life maximum and minimum speed is mentioned on the highway and you can't raise your speed to infinity no they have mentioned their maximum and minimum speed on the highway graphically you can observe ki as your rho going to rho max or rho going to zero theek hai your rho it is not rho max your traffic density jaise jaise ye zero ki side ja raha hai your this is your velocity this velocity is going to infinity as it is going to zero theek hai as it is going to zero your speed is going to infinity this will make a seem tot theek hai so this is the relation between u and rho that is traffic density and the velocity relation okay it is not difficult problem in actual life if you assume this with is this problem every time but if you uh, notice or start making observation you can see ki we did derivation in the same way as we face this problem hai na based on that aap you have calculated the acceleration after that you integrate this and after integrating the maximum or minimum limit you have used here all right if you have any doubt you can comment thank you